What's up everyone, welcome back for another video. Today, I'm gonna to show you brachial plexus, not the morphologic images like the T2 space, but moreover, the diffusion. We're gonna go from images like this to this. I'm gonna show you a simple step on how you can obtain images like that. So without further ado, stick around. For those who are new, my name is back again. I'm an Amorite. We're talking for in my channel on comic things from basic to advanced Amorite topics, tutorials just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. And for those who've been here before, thanks for coming back and support me on that. Brachial plexus can be difficult, but however, I'm going to show you simple tricks when it comes to the diffusion. So without further ado, let's go and I will show you. All right, we're currently at 3T, but this can be done on 1.5 as well. On 3T, it can be more difficult, more challenges because diffusion at the head neck area, soft air tissue, distortion kicks in. It's much difficult on 3T. However, I will show you simple tricks, which means that you can be doing this on 3T as well. We are on an XA software 50 here. You see on XA software 50, you have uh, many more options that compared to the older systems. So you saw images like this. We are doing this in direct coronal diffusion. So for this area, you need to use a stir. Without the stir, you don't stand a chance. The reason for stir is that you get this good background suppression. You want to suppress everything and the nerves, you want to have it, you know, highlight the nerves. If you use a fat set, standard fat set or a spare technique, it's very difficult. You won't get good fat suppression. So thereby, a stir is the way to go. So you can see the face encoded direction here is feet head. It's more like what's the standard, right? Feet head is more like standard. But you can see there's a lot of distortion here. You don't see the nerves at all. But look at this now, just swapping the face encoding to head feet, you see the nerve stats are great. A little bit distortion of course, but much lesser compared to the other images I just show you. Swapping the head feet or the face encoding direction will give you images like this. So it's more like the T2 morphologic images, the nerves. It's not bad, right? However, on the older software, it's also possible. Let me show you. On the older software, you see if you go to the face and color direction, you only have two options, right, left, or feet head. You don't have any other options. However, there is a workaround. Let me show you. If you hover your mouse here, you can see this says the in-plane rotation 90 degrees. However, if you push that button there, you can go into and rewrite that manually, rewrite minus 90 degrees. So if you do a minus 90 degrees, it means that it automatically changed this to head feet. You can see here, head feet compared to feet head. So you have that option to, to have a workaround and it still work. So keep that in mind on the older software. Get results like that. Well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video valuable. Nevertheless, I want to ask you a question before we end this video. Whenever you do a bracket plexus, do you use diffusion weighted images? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, don't forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get a ding ding whenever new things from me are coming up. I we we'll catch up with you in my next video. Peace out.